As we mentioned earlier today and earlier this afternoon, records are falling across a large part of the country today. Already look at these temperatures. They tumble 30, 40, even 50 degrees in the same time on Sunday. So early blast of winter for a lot of folks. Freezing temperatures will make it all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Yeah, some people just say that's the way it is, but well, some people want to know why we've seen this strong plunge of cold air straight out of Canada several times over the past few weeks. Meteorologist Becky Ditchfield takes a look. Long-standing record cold temperatures are on the line tonight as a powerful cold front plunges Arctic air into the Midwest and the South. Many of us saw impressive changes in the weather between Sunday and Monday. Kansas City's temperature was 32 degrees cooler. Even Dallas saw a temperature difference of 27 degrees. Denver's cold air was accompanied by a little snow today, but unlike our friends to the east, our cold snap will be short-lived and we won't be setting any records. Why? We're right on the edge of the polar vortex. During the winter, polar air starts to dip down to the south, and in extreme cases, a big dip can bring weather that affects transportation, air travel, and agriculture. This week's polar plunge barely grazed the front range, but for cities deep in its core, long-standing records that were sent back in 1911 from one of the most extreme cold fronts in U.S. history may be broken. Cleveland, St. Louis, Little Rock, and Dallas are all forecasting lows in the teens and 20s for tonight. Temperatures could be as low as 13 in St. Louis, dangerously close to their record of 12, set during that Arctic blast in 1911. So enjoy your view outside the polar bubble, Denver. While we warm up, temperatures across the Midwest and South will remain below average through the weekend. Meteorologist Becky Ditchfield, 9 News.